Booptube, little update today. Typically you see me with green paint. Today is orange. As you can see, it's Husqvarna. Um, not Aaron's, not, not anything else, not Kubota. Ended up going with Husqvarna. Did a push mower. Something new, just a little walk around to show this model number and kind of what comes with it. Um, and then I'll give an update on how it runs after I run it a little bit. It has not been run yet, only started uh, just to show the procedure from the dealer to me. And then once here, just to verify, I knew how to do it. So it has not cut any grass yet. Um, the model number, I'll just show it to you here. It is the um, HU725AWDE. It does have a Briggs and Stratton, as you see on the bottom. Um, and then I'm, to well, I'm told, and I looked briefly into it, the EX is also with the model of the Briggs and Stratton, as you can see the series here. And part of that is carb compliance, efficiency, and so on and so forth. There's uh, e EX and one other model. Um, went with this kind of for the reason of what you get for the money. Still a lot of money, about $400, $419, I think, out the door. Does come with a three-year warranty. It does have a 190cc engine. That was something I was warned about um, to make sure that you're not going underpowered when you get these 21 and 22 inch mower decks. Uh, this is all completely new to me. I've been cutting lawn, whether it's a side uh, high school job all the way through just still to this day, just to in, enjoy the off days. Typically I'm cutting with a 54 inch on a tractor, green. So this is going to be all completely new to me. The reason we went with this, um, this model is all wheel drive, went with it because the yard that I cut with it, um, it's one of the, or it's in the family. And with that being said, it's the whole backyard is nothing but a hill, all different um, slopes and lines that go to it. And with a deck like this, as in a previous video, they, it does fine for the straightaways. It does fine for right up and down. You go around the trees on the hill and... Two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, doesn't matter. This heavy beast likes to destroy it. And I'm not ready to give it up because we're doing all kinds of dirt work and hauling sand and everything else. So it's used. So we went with this. Uh, very brief uh, walk around. Again, it's the uh, Husqvarna HU725AWDE. Comes with fancy accessories here. So we've got the bagger attachment that just goes on there and then of course it just hooks on this sits on it spring loaded you got the little shoot when you are not using the supplied little attached door cover for the mulcher so when that's shut that shut it's a mulcher uh, with what comes with it so we've got it is the all-wheel drive version uh, one nice part about this over the more of the baseline model I hope more parts to go wrong unfortunately hopefully it stands up good with the uh, all-wheel drive portion and more parts to go wrong doesn't prove to be quite true. To set the deck height, you just pull on this, pull these pins up. You can, uh, you can kind of see that pulls it out and then you can rotate it back and forth or kind of like swivel action goes up and down. And you've got all four can be independently set, which is actually, in my opinion, a great thing that they don't go always together. I get that because I like to set them individually using larger deck. Um, so we got that deck wash. Kind of a, I call it a bummer. This, even though it's an excellent idea, they have it on the John Deere, this is 100% attached. It's okay, probably for as much as I'll actually use it, not a big deal. But to screw in a hose, you gotta put the hose on there and then twist this on. And then it's just a lot of side torque. But the John Deere, I don't have the attachment. And this isn't really supposed to be a comparison video, it's apples and oranges, but then it's got an attachment, you screw in the hose, and then you just plug it in, like kind of like an air compressor fitting. But anyways, uh, still $400, we'll try it out. I mean, we're gonna have it, so. What we got, 12 volt system, electric start. The tiny little starter right here. First, I thought it was a super big uh, old style um, bowl that you have for like um, sediment bowl from an older engine. No, I don't do that anymore. <laughs> but anyways, that's the starter. It's, uh, we're talking just a little, little thing and that's all it needs, 190 cc. This is how we start it. So I did just finish charging it. It came back up, this applied, and I got it hanging here. So this is the charger. It's green because it's unplugged now, but it's just a little thing. Um, looks to be for a 12 volt system. Right here is where it plugs in. Kind of its own, I haven't, haven't looked yet. It almost looks like a similar plug, which you use with these 
RC cars and everything, but I can't verify that. So you just plug it in like that. Uh, we'll start it real quick, let it run for about, I know it's not good for it, but just for uh, just a moment or two, and then I'll shut it down just so you see the process. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Um, probably don't, uh, safety Nazis don't get on my case here. This is just to start it. Nothing else around in the dog as far away. Probably won't like this anyways. So to do that, we're going to pull this down. And all we have to do literally is a push button start. There's no key, nothing else. So here we go. I know. It's good to let it run a little bit longer. I think the only thing I would prefer in a push mower since even though I've cut lawn since I was barely enough, you know, tall enough to push the pedals on the old rider is a which I have seen on some different Hondas, I think, would be a disengage for the blade instead of always shutting it off. This is standard. Again, this is what you have on most push mowers. I have a neighbor that's got it where it's just like a rider where it's instead of the engine shutting down every time when you let off that handle, the blade stop. That would be super slick, but again, that's big money and more things to go wrong. So, uh, real brief, like I said, attachments. Fancy, fancy. So hopefully this helps at least those that are looking what comes with it. What's, uh, you know, how do you do the different little things with it? And if it's something you're at all interested in. Typically, I am a Honda engine kind of guy. And one of the other models comes with a Honda, the one without electric start. Uh, but as with, you'll, especially you guys that pay attention to, uh, they make different grades of everything. Just like John Deere makes an entry level. Not all John Deeres are created equal kind of a John Deere holic and same thing with uh, Briggs and Stratton same thing with um, well the old Tecumseh I guess they don't make that line anymore but uh, they and uh, Kohler is another one so just the name's not always it so this is supposed to be a fairly reliable good auto choking engine and we're going to try it for a summer I uh, hope this helps those that wanted a little walk around and a little ramble session between the green machine and that even though it's apples to oranges <laughs> green apple and orange okay that's uh that's a little cheesy. So anyways, have a good day, guys. Let me know if you have any questions.